opinions of the host, guests, and callers. They do not necessarily represent the views of the advertisers, management, staff, or ownership of WCTC. No time to call Jersey Central? Join the conversation online and be a part of WCTC's real-time talk. Like 1450 WCTC on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at 1450 WCTC. Jersey Central with Burt Barron. Think we could listen to the radio or something? On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. It is 709. It is hour number two of Jersey Central. It's Tell a Friend Tuesday on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. I'm Burt Barron, live inside the Forge Jeweler Studios with you today. We got our contest coming up a little bit later on in this 7 o'clock hour. Tickets for the Brothers in Harmony and their big Christmas concert. And by the way, some members of the Brothers in Harmony are going to drop by the studio tomorrow. So make sure you're listening for that. And also uh, Steve Forbes' brand new book and the opportunity to take a picture with him and attend his book discussion that's happening in Bridgewater. Going to give away all the prizes coming up uh, in just a bit. Let's get to the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. I want to welcome in my special guest, the uh, National Wildlife Federation, celebrating 50 years uh, of an iconic uh, sort of uh, representative, if you will. Uh, Ranger Rick is celebrating uh, a young 50 and uh, still doing a great job, of course, representing the National Wildlife Federation. My guest is a Jersey native. He's a, a media personality. I'm sure you've seen him on television all over the place. He's also an author and a nature and wildlife expert. So let's welcome in uh, to celebrate this big 50th anniversary. We have David uh, Mizajewski, who's with us uh, on WCTC. David, good morning. It's Bert Barron. How are you? Hey, Bert. I'm doing well. Good to talk to you. This is uh, this is a big deal. 50 years uh, for, for Ranger Rick uh, representing the National Wildlife Federation, right? That's exactly it, yeah. We introduced the character of uh, Ranger Rick back in 1959, but he, his magazine started in 1967. And so for the entire year of 2017, the National Wildlife Federation is basically celebrating a big old birthday for Ranger Rick. Awesome. Um, you know, many of us grew up reading Ranger Rick magazine. I did personally as a kid growing up in Middletown. And it's a really fabulous way to introduce kids to the world of wildlife and nature. And that's what it's all about for the National the Wildlife Federation. So what does he kind of do? Is it along the, the Smoky Bear lines about forest fires, or is it more focused on wildlife and the environment? It's mostly focused on wildlife, but we do touch on you know some of the issues that face wildlife. But one of the best things about Ranger Rick magazine is the, the, the staff that put that magazine together are experts at talking to kids in an age-appropriate way about all sorts of issues. So, you know, parents and grandparents and uncles and aunts who, who maybe want to give a subscription to one of our three Ranger Rec magazines can feel really comfortable and confident that the information is accurate, that it's age appropriate. And, you know, at the end of the day, it, it's, it's fun. I mean, the magazine is filled with all sorts of cool wildlife facts, beautiful photos, lots of games and activities. So it's, it's fun, but it's educational at the same time. So again, you know, adults can feel good about giving subscriptions to their kids. Very cool. I can remember sort of reading this uh, growing up in the, the public schools here in Jersey myself, uh, Dave, so I'm uh, pretty familiar with uh, with Ranger Rick. He's a raccoon, right? Is that what he's a uh, raccoon with a cool ranger hat, yeah. right? That's right, Ranger Rick Raccoon, and you know what's what's fun. You know, you mentioned um, you know uh, a young fifty. Um, you know when. when you get to this age, you know, some people want to get a little bit of a makeover. So we recently had uh, the character made over by um, a famous artist who is associated with the TV show Yo Gabba Gabba. Parents out there will know what that is. Parker Jacobs has given Ranger Rick a fresh new look to celebrate his, his 50th birthday. Um, but, yeah, he's a raccoon. He wears a ranger hat. You know, he's – raccoons, um, you know, are a great species to, to, to get kids introduced into the natural world because they're a kind of wildlife species found all across the country, and they're the kind of wildlife that, that kids might actually have a chance of seeing. So it's a relatable species, and, you know, raccoons are, are just fun-looking. They, they're they easy to, um, you know, to put into sort of a cartoon character with their, their black mask and their, their striped tails. So, yeah, Ranger Rick is, you know, he's friendly, he's, he's knowledgeable, um, and he's something that kids, you know, can really relate to, and he'll help them learn about wildlife. Yeah, I think if you can get a kid to put the tablet or the smartphone down and go for a walk in the woods and go see just the, how how nice it is and go for a walk in a nice park or something in Jersey. And, you know, we got some wonderful parks here, uh, all air state park and uh, Worthington. Yep. And there's a bunch of great walking parks uh, across our Absolutely. state. And just to get kids out and let them appreciate the, the nature that we have here in Jersey, I think is important. That's really true. I mean, the average school-age kid in America is spending almost eight full hours a day indoors, sedentary, in front of electronic screens. And so one of our goals with all of our kids' programs at National Wildlife Federation, including Ranger Rick, is to help inspire families to get a little bit more of 
that outdoor time that we're so sorely missing. Now that said, uh, we want to use both the magazine as well as books and, and even digital apps as a vehicle to get kids experiencing nature. And in fact, we've got all of those things under our, you know, our Ranger Wick, Rick suite of, of, you know, opportunities out there. And if folks want to go to nwf.org slash Ranger Rick 50, you can see all of our magazines. We're actually having a special subscription deal for the holidays. You can get 10 issues of either Ranger Rick or Ranger Rick Jr. for 1995. Um, that's a deep discount. Count. And we also have books, we've got t-shirts, we've got even digital apps. So, you know, we're trying to meet people where they are. We know that kids are online, we know that families are online, and we want to use that as a positive way to get them introduced into nature and teach them about wildlife. Yeah, good stuff. And these uh, sounds like it makes a great uh, gift idea, too, for the holidays, a subscription to one of the magazines that, that kind of comes over the course of the year. It's a great gift idea. Exactly, yeah. It's a gift that, that gives all year long. And, you know, I, I myself was a Ranger Rick subscriber. My godmother, when I was nine years old, got me a subscription. I have gotten subscriptions for my, my six-year-old niece and my four-year-old nephew. So it's really, you know, for, for, for folks looking for a positive, you know, gift that isn't just going to be, yet, you know, yet another toy that you have to clean up, um, you, you know, these magazines are, are really great. We've got Ranger Rick. Um, we've got Ranger Rick Jr. magazine, which I mentioned. Ranger Rick is for 7 to 12. Ranger Rick Jr from four to seven, and we just launched a brand new magazine called Ranger Rick Cub, which is for the little itty-bitty guys, and it's something that parents can read to their kids, fill with beautiful pictures. Um, again, we want to get kids introduced to wildlife at an early age, because we know that kids that learn about wildlife grow up into adults that love it and want to protect it, and that's what the mission of the National Wildlife Federation is all about. Awesome. What got you into this at first, David? Was it the class trip to the Great Swamp or to, to Stokes Forest or the uh, Raptor Trust? What got you involved in wildlife and interested in it? You know, I, I was born this way. <laughs> I was <laughs> okay. a lifelong nature geek. I got to, you know, I was fortunate enough that my parents, um, you know, allowed me to run around in, in the woods in Middletown around our neighborhood and explore nature on my own terms. But I did do my eighth grade trip to Stokes, and that was a really, really um, amazing experience that I remember to this day. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's it, 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 there's, there's one message about, you know, about getting kids outside is, you know, let them do it. Let them explore nature. There's a lot of research out there that shows all of the amazing benefits of doing that. And that's something that we promote in Ranger Rec Magazine. Yeah, good stuff. One question, uh, Dave, and then we'll let you go. Uh, I was talking in the last hour about the bear hunt happening in New Jersey. I, for one, personally am not a fan of it. Let me get a take of someone who is a nature and wildlife expert right here in New Jersey, and that's who you are. Uh, Give me your take uh, on the bear hunt. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm not going to attack you if I disagree, but (laughs) what's your take on this? Yeah, you know, I'm not following the specific details of the New Jersey, what's going on in New Jersey, but generally speaking, you know, hunting today is is regulated and managed by wildlife biologists. The populations aren't going to go away. So, you know, as a general rule of thumb, the National Wildlife Federation, you know, follows the lead of the professional wildlife managers and biologists that are, you know, managing those things. And the money raised from hunting licenses actually goes right back into conservation. Gotcha. Okay. David Mizajewski, uh, my guest to hear from the uh, National Wildlife Federation. Uh, please, Rich, uh, Ranger Rick, a happy 50th birthday uh, from here at WCTC, and uh, hopefully we can talk to you again soon, David. All right, and have a great holiday. You too. All right, thank you. All right, my guest, uh, David Mizajewski, he is from uh, Middletown, New Jersey. He is with the uh, National Wildlife Federation.